West Ascension Consolidated Drainage District is called to order August 1st, 2013. Um, Mr. Ken Shakespeare, what you do in invocation? <clears throat> Dear Lord, again, we want to thank you for all the good things you've given us and benefits of, of living in this great parish in Ascension. Uh, we would like to ask that you allow us to make great decisions for this parish and that's the good of the people and that following this meeting, everyone arrives home safely. We'd also like to ask that you uh, make sure you look in your prayers for the family of uh, Miss May Martinez, uh, Tommy's mother, and uh, who passed away this week, and that uh, they rest in the knowledge that for 92 years we had her on this, uh, this earth. We ask all these things in your name, amen. amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mr. Shakes and I, and myself as president, West uh, Side Coordinator, Mr. George Redelia, and uh, DPW West Side Manager, Mr. Craig, Land I mean, Craig Anderson. Uh, item so, number three. So moved. All right, accepting of the minute. So moved by Mr. Shakes and I, and a second by myself. All right, item number four Master Drainage and those covers right of ways. Uh, Update and I know legal. Uh, we if, we if y'all want to set up in a meeting with some of the people that are affected by this, we can glad to get together and kind of have a meeting with them. I think that's the best way to do it because I think I've done some research and we'll be able to work with them in other ways to, to avoid those designations that, that if they will cooperate with us. Okay, uh, you want uh, George? Would you set up a date like that for next month sometime on those parties get with legal? Yeah, um, we'll have to do it. I would suggest we try to do it. You want to try to do it at the next meeting because if both councilmen are going to have to be there, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll have a quorum. Well, uh, no, 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 no. I think we want to sit down with them. Yeah, individually and speak with them. You and I, or you and the chairman and I? Well, I thought, I thought I would, Councilman Joseph wanted to be part of it. Well, I mean, that'd be fine, but we, we've got to do it with just one councilman. Well, that, that, yeah. That's fine. Well, will you and I get together Monday. We'll make that and list up. And if I can't we'll, make it, we'll I'll tell Kent to make it. Yeah, yeah, can if he can yeah. 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 Okay. I don't think it's that Just want to make sure we follow okay. the rules. Yeah, uh, we're going to follow the rules. Okay, well, no I'm problem. We can do that. You and I can talk about that Monday. We'll make a list. You, you, I'm not gonna, you can call me and we'll work on it. I don't say I can come over here Monday. No, no, we'll call. We'll just make okay. a list. Up. Email me what you got. All right. No problem. All right. Good enough on that. Um, item number seven. I mean, item number five. Seven Street drainage problem, repair costs, update. Um, you want me? Go ahead, George. If you well, uh, Chairman uh, Chairman Joseph and I met with the mayor. Um, we went through that whole project. We looked at some of the video, some of the photographs. Um, after much discussing, uh, we decided that probably the best way was to go with we need to video that one section of pipe that was not videoed. Uh, before we change out coverts, before we try to pick a repair that's really not the right one to do, we need to know the whole scenario. The mayor was going to get back to the guy he spoke to and find out what the cost was to video that one piece of section, and then we would go from there. Split the cost of that and be able to choose a direction to go for repair and problem. So we're still waiting on the mayor to get back to it. All right? That's where we are. Um. I guess we need a motion to uh, go with the fifth. I guess fifty-fifty cost of it, and that way. I don't think we need a motion. That's just uh, administrative. I mean, we could do that. Well, it's an expenditure. It is a cost. Do, do, do you is want it? us to bless it? Yeah. Okay. I, I make a motion that we um, we enter into uh, an agreement with uh, the, the city to uh, provide video information for the culvert and to report back at the earliest convenience. Sound good. I second that motion. Really want objection? No objection. Motion passed. All right. Item number six, smoke bin. 
and that's uh, Barcelona Drive. Uh, this is an item that we've been working on, that, that one little area there, because it's been flooding all the time. And when um, Mr. Ronnie Fairchild left, the engineering department still have the drawing on it. And I just wanted to make sure we keep this on there, George, and, and guess what? get with you and Moose to get up to speed. Who, what, what engineer do have these drawn? I, I don't well, know the last meeting, uh, I think we had in the minutes that Mr. Fairchild said the prints were ready and then he would get a copy to you. Uh, you know, since then we've switched engineers again. Uh, I tried two calls today to uh, Jason Taylor, our new chief engineer. He did not call me back to see where he stood on that and to see if he was going to make this meeting. I did not reach him. Okay. So I'm aware of it, and we just need to find out where that's standing. I have no idea. But I tried calling twice. I couldn't get an answer. All right. So that's just an item that we need to stay on, leave it on the list. Um, that's all the first items. Number uh, seven, St. James Assumption Drainage Update. Mr. Regalia. Uh, okay. Two things on that, Mr. Chairman. Uh, one thing is you'll see a copy of the letter. I know you're both familiar with it. President Martin has called you. I spoke with you on that. Uh, I would like to see a motion so we can go ahead and ratify that conversation that we're going to take one-third of the cost of this project. Uh, you'll also see an email that I contacted Mr. Jody Schender from St. James and asked him where we stood on this with the levy board. Had they agreed to pay their third? Uh, he said that uh, they did agree with, to pay their third, but they would like to have the Assumption District included. Uh, he contacted them, said that uh, they want to probably add a couple of canals, so he was looking at some cost estimates on that. Even if they add those, I still see us paying less than the third we originally agreed on. But I think at least y'all, if y'all would ratify that third of that 57000 then we can move on with that, and I'll, I'll bring the invoice back to you guys when I get it. Okay. The, um, this is a big step to get an agreement Absolutely. here to get, get moving in, in and, that area. And uh, you'll see that 75% of the work's already done. Yeah, it's probably uh, four or five years in the making to get to this point. Absolutely. People don't realize. Uh, uh, so I, I would wholeheartedly uh, agree to make a motion to enter into that agreement, uh, and I'd like to thank uh, George and Craig and, and Tommy and everyone else that has uh, been involved. I know Oliver has made some meetings and, and everything and made some calls to try to get this to all these people to come together. Uh, and uh, we want to thank St. James especially and, and the levy board for what they've done. And uh, we hadn't had a chance, I hadn't had a chance to meet with Assumption, but it looks like they're, they're helping move forward too. It's a regional thing, and it's something that we need to uh, take a different type of look at, and we have been, and so that, I think it's great. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I just got one question on that. Um, Mr. O'Neill, do we yes, have sir. to, we say one-third, I think we, we I, the conversation where we're going to put like 19,000, do we need to put not to exceed over 19,000? That would be the best way to do it, put a commitment as to That's what, what my motion was. Unless you're going to, or whatever the number is y'all want to put in there, it, it, the motion would be uh, one third of the fifty-seven thousand proposed, I and think we'll be okay with that. Even though they might include a couple of, <coughs> of a couple of more canals from assumption, we'll because be, it'll be divisible by four right. instead of three. Okay, so we should but, be okay with that number. Yeah, I, that's all. I just want to just make sure that we yeah, that's, make the motion that we cap it at a certain limit. That's fifty-seven thousand eight hundred thirty-five <laughs> divided by three, whatever that is. So yeah. make it make it even twenty. Yeah, but, uh, but not to exceed twenty thousand. Yeah, that's good. I second that motion. All right. Motion passed. All right. Uh, item number eight, major drainage canals cleanup, and that's me. Um, we got some of our canal, McCall Canal, um, the canal uh, we just were talking about, uh, with the one in the back back there. Uh, what do you call it then? Behind, they okay. run behind uh, the city of Donsonville. They drain everything from. Talking about Bun Hood? Not Bun Hood and um, Verrett, I mean, Canab. Right. But 
we did the little shaving, the, the thing where the tree's growing up in it and all that. I, I need to want to know if we can look at those to see if we can do the canal. Uh, by, uh, McCall Bayou is having trees growing out on the sides and everything. And uh, the last time we cleaned it out, we used the big arm reach, but uh, since we borrowed or we had an intergovernment agreement with the uh, East Ascension Drains to use that uh, uh, tree grinder thing, uh, need to look at those bayous and see if we can clean them out with that equipment. Because we got some trees growing up in there, and, and I mean, once again, it was a whole lot easier and quicker, and hopefully we can do that. I mean, do you have a specific part of that canal you're talking about right now? Because Remember, we have a couple of places that we still have problems with right away on that we can't get to, okay? We just cleaned the whole Bun Hood area and before that with uh, our crew and with the prisoners. So that's pretty clean now all the way past Bun Hood area. You need to go look at it. That's been done in the last week, five days. Yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. Need to go back and look at it. We yeah, cleaned clean it pretty good. And that's the grass, but I'm, I'm talking about well, the trees. The trees, pretty good stuff yeah. down too. So, but I know uh, Bayou McCall, that area going through the, the sugarcane field and going out to the rocky, the trees are start growing, and and they haven't got big yet. But uh, you know, as long as we maintain that, and we looking like we're gonna get a sprayer, we can start spraying on those ditches to keep that kind of stuff down. Well, Craig and I will make a round of that, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll just go make us a pass next yeah. week. Yeah, yeah, and that's we'll, that's we'll, exactly. We'll see. Cool. And, it, and, and I think it's important, uh, as Councilman Joseph said, uh, that we can take, make sure we take a look at these major canals and catch them before the trees get too big, because that's what gives the problem. And, and I don't you know, know. They still got the issue of that, that cover collapse in that canal too. Now. Well, but you had the, uh, Mr. Numbing and all of them in at that time. They still got that. Okay, issue we we hadn't solved that problem. The we need to meet with. No, that's one of them that we need to meet with this right away. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Sure. We'll, we'll we'll look we'll look into it when we have the meetings. Good enough. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Item number nine, George. Okay. What's that uh, going in? A couple. Of, I'll try to do. <laughs> um, DPW is in mind together, so we can get this kind of quick. Uh, <laughs> the minutes from last week, we talked about the uh, the cleanup of the canals. The, the culverts on the railroad track, all that was done. Uh, it's flowing pretty good in that area now. Um, they collected uh, a pretty good bit of bayou silt out right there, piled up. Uh, I have spoke with the Freshwater District. We're in, uh, uh, in the area of trying to complete an agreement between the two groups so we can go ahead and take that sand. We will take that sand and use it. And the intergovernmental agreement should also include uh, when they go to empty this pit for the first time. The catch-all pit that's right out the culverts, they think that's pretty full. So we're going to be able to get that sand also, which should be excellent for, for us. Mm -hmm. So as, I, I think I spoke to the parish president today. He thinks he's going to sign off on that probably the first of next week. Well, we're going to have to get it approved, but we can do it. Yeah. That way, um, we're going to – I talked to the – Today we're working. I don't think that's going to be an issue. They, when they do the dredging, we're just going to get the. We're going to be responsible for hauling the dirt off, and um, we can use the dirt however we want. They just it's, it costs them a fortune to haul it off. We, they'll give it to us. So that's basically what we're going to do. We just got to get the legal language down so that who's responsible for what. And it would, but I'll, it's not a problem. I talked to Mr. Marlboro today. But it's in the governmental agreement, so the council's going to have to approve. It. Yeah, I, I think it'll be fine. I just don't want to touch the dirt until I know that we have. Everything signed, and then we'll we'll get the dirt. Okay. Um, also, uh, we talked the last meeting about uh, Freshwater District was going to try to work on getting a grant to relieve some of this water problems in City of Donaldville. I talked to Mr. Ben Marlboro today, and that did not work out because they would not go forward with that because we didn't actually have any structural flooding. Okay. So now we're going to try to pursue it. He's going to work and help us try to pursue that in another direction or help the city go in another direction, okay? Mm -hmm. um, we've done a lot of uh, ditch cleaning in the Modest area, uh, Aben Park, Bayou Verrett. Uh, we've had both culvert trucks working for quite a bit uh, in the last couple of weeks. We've, uh, we did that 
took care of that problem. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> we took care of the problem on the Costa Lane, and, and now that they're getting ready to do the road, they kind of destroyed everything we did and put brand new covers down. Oh. So uh, it's okay. And then we did some cleaning on Highway 1, same problem. We had some problems that were holding water, some ditches in front of some uh, mm -hmm. constituents' houses. So we took care of that. That's where we stand. That's really all, all I have, unless you guys got some other questions for me. I got one, George. Um, can you just go in detail on that item for the public to know on that material on Highway 1 that is in the ditch is owned by Jews Drive? We have contacted. Correct. I met with the state. Uh, I gave uh, Mr. Turo the contact numbers for the landowners. Uh, they have to pursue that, okay? We have just a little bit of that clutter on Jules Road ourselves. Uh, I said if it became a drainage problem, then I would send Craig down there and we'd go ahead and push that back off the road onto the property. That has not happened yet. And the majority of the problem is on state owned right away because people cannot see that. Uh, I've done everything I can do. Uh, I've met with, I'm once by phone and once in person. They said they were going to take care of it. Right. And I and just want to uh, elaborate yeah. on that is yeah. that. Uh, state representative Ed Price called me regarding that problem and we told him the same thing is a state issue he have informed the state that that is a safety hazard so um, just to let the public know we are on right. it we are working with it it's just that um, once again it's a state issue absolutely and they are aware of it like I said I sat on one of myself give them all the contact numbers okay. um, that's all I have I got one more question, George, and that came up this morning or the other day. For any complaints or whatever, uh, my question is if we can put this on channel 21 for the west side that we are trying to work out work requests if they will call it in. Correct. They'll call that in uh, to Ms. Peggy White at our office and for this side, and she'll fill out the paperwork and get it in the system. Right. And our number again is 225-473-1231. Okay. And if we can get that on channel 21, you know, we'll post something like that, that would be good. My channel 21 guy just nodded at me, said he got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Appreciate the report. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I uh, want to thank you again, Craig. I know we, uh, we kind of work extra on blowing out culverts in ABN. I believe we blew out every culvert and more. So uh, there, was, there was some issues on, on getting the uh, drainage along the... Uh, the the roads and the culverts and everything before and and uh it's been uh really taken care of well so we really appreciate and i got a couple of calls from people saying that they, you know they appreciate it uh such a good job uh, yeah I, I am also uh in agreement with uh the sand from the bayou i think that's a real good fit uh uh because that that's coming directly from the river which we pay a lot of money for river sand uh, the first silt, so it's some heavy silt also. And uh, George, I was curious, what in future cleanouts and everything, how is that going to proceed? And what, you know, of that area, that that silting area, and what uh, I never did understand exactly what happened to the debris that was taken out of the culverts. Did they blow it out? Did they take it out, or is it, or they in a process of doing that. I know they no, got the them out of the culverts, but... The culverts are totally clean now. Yeah, okay? I, I know that, but what, what happened? They did, did they... Was they went in with a... It's sort of like something what we use without a pump truck. It's a, it's a nozzle. It's a mm -hmm. T-bar nozzle. They bring that through the culverts with high pressure, and as they rake that back, they brought out of the, the uh, a lot of debris. Pallets, tires, uh, those kind of items. The freshwater district removed those. Okay. Those, those were gone. Uh, the little bitty items that we have left, probably some cans and a few other things. They even said that when we go back and get this dirt, that they would take care of removing that trash from the dirt as we were out there okay. blowing it up, okay? Uh, as far as your other question about anything in the future, I'd ask that, that when we sign that agreement, uh, we also made part of it, the cleaning out of that sand pit. Right. That's going to be done regularly, probably, they're guessing, maybe every two years, but it's going to be quite a bit of sand. Right. Uh, so that's going to be in an agreement also that we have that, and they'll just notify us ahead of time when it's taking place, and we'll do what we got to do to get it. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. Mr. Craig Anderson, anything on? 
No, George talked about just what everything I wanted to talk about. He been and uh, Acosta land, the, the drainage problem we had, and the one in uh, Smoke Bend. Only thing I said, we trying to keep up with this grass right now, too. That's what it is. Is the grass growing now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect weather for for grass growing. Yeah. So I know that's it, you know. Yeah, that, that's working us right now. Wow. Well. Uh, I just want to uh, echo what uh, Kent just said. Everyone is doing a great job as far as the public. I, I mean, every phone call that I get or whatever, I, I know y'all responding as fast as you can, and uh, I know they appreciate it a whole lot. So, One other thing, Mr. Chairman, before we hang up the phone here, uh, our property on Tebow Drive, where we're going to build a new building, you can see that we've done a little bit of work of that. We've even dropped down a COVID. Uh, in it so we can access the property and we're doing nothing now but keeping our grass cut while we're waiting for this to proceed. I know that President Martin has had a conversation with engineering today and um, I think the final plans are going to be ready tomorrow is what I, if I understood correctly and then it should be able to go out for bids. Good. Right. Great news. That's great news. Yeah, I appreciate keeping up with the, the grass because that's one of the things that holds you up in construction yeah, yeah. On, on that. So uh, also uh, George, and I know you've gone over this, but I just want to kind of reemphasize to people the, the, the landing over there on, on the Mississippi River, the, uh, the, the, the boat launch, so to speak. And can you just uh, go back over what uh, the, uh, the reason why it's, it's not a constant uh, upkeep by the parish? There's nothing that, that we're able to do at this time. Just to, so, so some people didn't get a chance to hear what. Well, probably the first thing we ought to do is we ought to back up and we ought to clarify that it's city property. Mm -hmm. uh, at one time, the city had an agreement with someone else to keep that boat ramp clean. Uh, for one reason or another, that fell through. Um, the year that they asked us to take care of it, we did. Uh, the people that were cleaning it before uh, created a little ruckus, and the court decided that we should not be able to clean that ramp without a permit. They call they defined it as dredging, which to this day no one can ever convince me that that's dredging. But we are not allowed to clean that. The city was not allowed to clean that again unless they pursued a permit. Then hmm. uh, the last discussion I had with the city about it at all was that they were doing that. They were uh, pursuing a permit to be able to do that and keep down those small trees along the river's edge that we cleaned up for them at the same time. Right, That's just where to, it stands. Just to kind of clarify, I mean, in the infinite wisdom, uh, another decision by the Corps of Engineers, uh, the infinite wisdom Correct. Uh, that prevents common sense approach to keeping a boat launch clear Absolutely. for the people. Uh, and, uh, you know, they've stopped us from doing that without a permit. And just to let people know, getting a permit is not just going by the Corps of Engineers and give them a check for $100 and get you a permit. It's yeah, a very, very, thousand dollars. very, 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 very long and expensive uh, process, which ends up costing the people for something that should be done on a continual basis. And, uh, you know, hopefully people can continue to get uh, uh, get uh, the Corps and, and federal legislators can get uh, feedback from the people saying that uh, this is not necessary we you know this is something that shouldn't be uh, required to do so just want to get on my soapbox for that thank you very much all right item number 10 set dates and time for next meeting it'll be September 5th at 5:15, right here at the courthouse and before you adjourn, Mr. Shakes and I'd just like to, uh, since we always uh, compliment everybody today, so I'm just going to compliment you on them putting those lights up in the city of Downsonville, coming into the city of Downsonville on 3089. It's starting to put up the posters in the parish, and you uh, want to compliment you on that. And uh, great job. They're doing a good job. Didn't take but six years. We got it. Though. All right. <laughs> now, item number 11, Mr. Thank Shakes. you. Move to adjourn. Second. Meeting adjourned.